work leading to the ultimate goal? Yeah, I think when, when you achieve something as huge as this, you really need to take a, a time by yourself to really reflect on what has happened and, and all the hard work that has been put into it. Um, I haven't got a chance to, to do that yet. Um, obviously with, with families and friends that are, you know, I'm trying to share this experience with, with them just as much as anyone. Um, but I think, you know, today or, or tomorrow will be a good chance for me to, to uh, sit somewhere quiet uh, by myself and just reflect on how, you know, how hard and, and, and painful it was to go through this process. Um, but, yeah, by geez, it was definitely worth it. <laughs> Patty, how, how will you balance um, being in a situation where you seem to fit perfectly with also with the year that you've had and your age, just from a financial standpoint, it might be wiser to move on. How will you balance all that? Um, I'm not balancing anything at all right now. It's all trying to just, you know, live in this moment. Um, and as you all know, it never comes around to, too often. So. Just like I said, I got got to find that moment by myself where I can let it all sink in and not really worry about anything else. Um, it's such a special moment that that doesn't come around too often. So, um, you know, got to let it sink in. What, would it be your preference to, to be back here? Um, I, I haven't even thought. Of, I haven't even thought about. It. All I can think about is my teammates and. Uh, and you know that last game and and holding the trophy up on, on the stage that's it that's the only thing that's going through my mind right now and and to share it with those guys is unbelievable if you had to guess what, what was the hardest part of this season where it just felt like a moment it was just so tough um probably at, at the beginning um at the start um, and at the start, you know, probably at the end of, of last season, um, when we lost, I think it was the struggle of, of mentally um, coming together as a group and, and understanding that, you know, it's not over. We, we got another chance and this chance is, is for the following season to, to try and have another crack at it. Um, that was probably the hardest, hardest thing. And like I've said before, that um, it made it easier in a way that we all came together and were on the same page as a group um, to be able to to be able to get it done and, and for everyone to understand and, and realize that. Um, but it was the mindset and the mentality I think that was the hardest thing to wrap your minds around um, getting the job done the, the next year. That Dallas series was that the moment that series where it was like this is going to be tough a tough run. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. We, we knew it was going to be tough right through. Um, the Dallas series made us a better team and made us really open our minds of, of what we need to do to be, able to, to be able to get it. So we're obviously glad that we went through that series as tough as we did. Um, you know, it, it changed, you know, the way we played. Um, it changed the way we thought, you know, as well, more, more than anything. But um, yeah, obviously that Dallas series as well as, you know, the other series um, were, were big moments. So, Pat, did, it really, did the championship run really kind of start last year? You know, after that, those tough losses, yeah. you know, were, you know, were, uh, that you guys, like you said, got it together and you knew you had maybe one more shot. So, could would it be fair to say that that it started like yeah, last year? Yeah, I, I think so. I think, um, you know, like any any great team, you, you go through the the tough, you know, moments together, mm -hmm. and and we're fortunate enough to go through a great moment together. But I think it started back then, um, and everyone. You know, living through that that bad moment that that still burns in in the back of your mind, um, that that fueled us obviously for for this season. Um, that I'm sure that's what everyone thought about during their their time off and during their break was, um, you know, what do we need to do to, to to get another chance and get another crack? So I think it started back then, yeah. What, what about you though? I mean, you could have had the opportunity to leave. You had player options in the last year, but you came back and knew that you wanted to put in the work and you were battling for a spot with Corey. Did this season make it all better for you because you decided to do that, take that route instead of going somewhere else? Yeah, like I've said before, the, the mindset for me going into you know the beginning of the season was um, that I, I wanted to do it for you know for the team and, and for this team. I want to be a part of this San Antonio team, um, and, and I felt like there was a part of me that was you know letting the teammates down, knowing that I had a lot to offer to to the boys and, and to the team and. Um, you know, getting the opportunity, um, you know, to, to, to show what I had to offer, I needed to earn that. Um, so in a way, I felt like I was I was letting them down. Um, so in that summer, that that was the mindset to, to come back and do it for this team and, and these teammates because I felt like I owed it to them. How are you still wearing your championship hat? I haven't took it off yet. <laughs> How's it feel? 
Feels great, mate. Um, yeah, um, like I said, that, that, that chance to let it all sink in. Um, I probably need to take my hat off to let everything sink in my head. But um, it's, um, it, it, it really does feel great. Um, knowing that you, you put so much hard work and, and effort to it, um, all the hours, or all the pain and sweat and sacrifices that um, people don't get to see or get to really understand. Um, that's what makes this this so special. Um, and on the flip side of that, you know, the, the teammates and the guys on this team, um, you know, make it even more special um, doing it with them. What was the exit meeting like this morning? What was that like? Um, we haven't had an exit meeting well, yet. The exit meeting. I don't think there will be an exit meeting from the way we we feel at the moment. Um, but the meeting today was just uh, it was just great to get everyone in in one room that. You know, we kept the circle tight throughout the whole year. We had to be focused. We couldn't let any other distractions get in. Um, we obviously love our families and, and close friends, but we knew that we needed to keep the circle tight, and that was the coaches and the guys on the team and, and no one else. Um, keep that circle tight so that um, you know our, our mind and our focus didn't stray, didn't get away from us, and, and we kept that the whole year. And that's why we were able to, to be on the same page throughout those, those tough times. Um, and I think that's a, a big factor on, on you know, us winning in the end. Danny said that Pop still found something wrong. <laughs> he did show us a couple of clips um, that, that, we, that we sucked at in, in game four. <laughs> so, um, but that's just him. That's just the Serbian in him. <laughs> Are you and Aaron still planning on playing for the national team this summer? Yeah, yep. Um, I mean, you just bringing it up kind of. Um, wears me out already just thinking about it <laughs> it's been a, it's been a it's been a long year um yeah we'll, we'll think about more about <laughs> approaching that part but that you know being involved in something like that definitely makes the year a lot longer um especially playing to, to the end of the june so um it, it, it's a great chance to represent australia at a, at a world stage um and that's something that you know we're both proud of When's the first practice for <laughs> Oh, you guys are just wearing you down. Yeah, wearing me down. Trying to. Um, first practice is in um, less than a month. I don't. I think it's like three weeks, to be honest. I think they're going right now. Um, they've given <laughs> us a chance to, to you know, have have a break. But um, yeah, that's the national team, and then that's the sacrifices you make to be able to have the chance to represent your country. Um, it's a huge honour. Um, putting the, the green and gold on um, and to do it, you know, at an Olympic Games and World Championships this year, um, it, it's going to be fun. How many messages have you had from, uh, from Australia? Oh, huge, mate. I, I really didn't understand, you know, the support that I was getting from Australia. Um, basketball really, you know, hasn't been great, hasn't had a great following behind the sport um, for quite some time now. You Obviously, Andrew Gaze, who, who you guys all, all know, won a championship here. His era was probably the last time that, that basketball was, you know, the top two, three sports in the country. And, and since then, it has really struggled. But, um, you know, I didn't know to all these messages and, and um, you know, love of support that that came through that I really thought, whoa, like, Australia is really behind it for the first time in, in a long while, um, just as much as cricket and Australian rules football. So, so to know that, um, you know, has come off a championship run and, and for me and Bainsey to be involved in it, I think it's very special and I think, um, you know, hopefully the following do get behind it and will continue now, um, you know, for, for more years to come.